When we told people we were coming to Cape Town and particularly staying in the Woodstock neighborhood, everybody said you have to go to the old biscuit mill market. What we soon came to realize is that Cape Town is full of markets. So many markets. I haven't ever been to a city with this many markets. Some we liked more than others, but this video is every single market we went to while staying in Cape Town for one month. Enjoy. Biscuit Mill, which has got to be the most recommended thing to us. It is um, a market on Fridays and Saturdays in the neighborhood we're staying in, in Woodstock, just down the road. And it was very hyped up, but it's it's a great market. There's lots of food, uh, lots of drinks, coffee, alcohol, juices, there's live music. Um, and then it's in the old Biscuit Mill, which has a bunch of brick and mortar shops selling crafts and jewelry and clothes. And, all sorts of stuff. Um, we've actually been twice. We came the first time on a Sunday, and today it's a couple weeks later on a Saturday. It's definitely much busier on a Saturday, but I would say in a good way. Um, there's there's more music. I don't think we had live music last time. More people, more vendors, definitely more food. Um, yeah, so it's been great to have down the road and we're actually we will be back next week because the first time we were here I saw a necklace that I didn't buy and then she sold it so she's making me one that I'm gonna come pick up next week So it's Saturday morning and we are at Mountain Market, which is a Saturday market at the foot of Table Mountain. Beautiful views in this little park, uh, you know, a handful of food and coffee and produce vendors. We had, what do we have? Well, I had a croissant filled with scrambled eggs, bacon, tomatoes, mushrooms, and that was really good. I had uh, butternut squash and feta quiche. Hazy here had some pineapple lemon cucumber juice. And did you also make some friends? Yeah, did you play did with... You, what'd you do? I want to play more You want to play more, more friends. friends? yeah. And Hayes had a good run around with a lot of little three-year-olds. So, <laughs> great way to spend a Saturday morning. I jump. Hayes jump. Okay, let's see your jump. Some some mucho. We are at Cape Point Vineyards. They have a Thursday night market. It might be Friday nights too, but it's definitely on Thursdays because that's what day it is. Um, and it's about 30 minutes south driving of where we're staying in Cape Town. It's lovely. It's packed with people. A little bit, a little bit uppity. Well, uh, I wouldn't say uppity, just maybe, just not our crowd. It's maybe the... Not our crowd. Uh, but we had a glass of wine, we had a beer, we had dinner from a place called the Lamb and Tuna Man. Hayes is enjoying a paletas. And the reason we came out here is we saw, we looked at markets, we saw pictures online, and this one looked incredibly I scenic. Go. You've got mountains in the back you can see the sea from here there's a lake there's a children's playground uh it's been a lovely evening will we come back here probably not but uh, it's great to see i think there's lots more places like there's a lot of, yeah <laughs> we'll probably be at other places like this and um there's a lot of other markets we want to see so we'll we'll figure out which one's right for us hey do you want to say bye Hi. <laughs> maybe that was harsh i would still recommend it because it's absolutely beautiful here the one thing it needs is music. It's an event with food trucks and alcohol and a beautiful setting and there's no music. Have you ever heard that song, It's Raining Men? Well, it's raining chocolate on me because this boy is just <laughs> dropping all this chocolate ice cream on me. <laughs> It's Saturday morning and we've come to the Oranjezicht 
City Market. Our Airbnb hosts also refer to this as the Granger Bay Market. Uh, I think that's in the area it is now. We're in the Zig City Farm. is an urban farm here in Cape Town and started this market years ago and I think it's grown and grown and grown. Um, it is very busy today. Totally, totally packed. Um, we wandered around. Hayes has been very much a toddler today so he was racing through the farm and having us chase him and picking up rocks and showing them to other kids so it was a little bit chaotic but we did have time to enjoy a banh mi. I waited uh, so long for it that I forgot to take a video. Pete of course found some pastels de nada, he always does. We had some coffee and then we were able to buy a bunch of produce for some meals during the week. Last Sunday we were at uh, Old Biscuit Mill at the Neighbor Goods Market, which everybody recommends. But honestly, we've been more impressed with the food um, to eat at this market and just the vibe in general. They're both amazing, but this one's really, really cool. They've also got a Wednesday evening market that we hope to come check out. And then afterwards, we walked down to the VA waterfront, which we hadn't yet been to. It was a bit touristy, um, but Hayes really enjoyed seeing the seals and we're definitely going to go back and maybe spend a little bit more time uh, when we do the Robin Island tour. on the range. It's about 25 to 30 minutes from Cape Town, south-ish. It's about all I know. And it's a really cool, super family-friendly market. There's live music, there's things to eat, there's an entire like kids area with bouncy castles and sand art and slushies and popcorn for the kids. Uh, there's wine and beer and gin and tonics for the adults. It's a really nice environment, I will say. All of these markets we've been to are extremely white. Um, I'm saying that, understanding that that's also an issue where we live in Tennessee. Other than that, it's lovely. Um, the food does not look great. So we're not gonna eat dinner here as we had planned. We got a few samosas and chili bites that were good, but not as good as we had at Faiza's Kitchen. Food doesn't look great. Hayes has had an amazing time in the bouncy castle, in the ball pit. We've had a couple of drinks. It's a beautiful setting. There's no shortage of beautiful places to have markets here. Chicken Nando's for dinner. And we might, we might have our Chicken Nando's for dinner because we've never had Nando's. Something I forgot to say was that we, um, we picked this one because I saw on Instagram that I had live music tonight. We've been a little surprised at how many like event type market things we've been to here with no live music. Eat it in the car. And so we came here. And the music was really bad. Really bad. Hey, you can leave the south, but you never really leave the south. Now we are in Green. 
Green Market Square, which is a market in the central business district of Cape Town. Now I'm realizing that I don't know which days it's on. Today happens to be a Friday, but I'll put down here uh, when the market is. To be honest, we haven't spent a lot of time here yet. We are on our way to a walking tour, um, but we're definitely going to make some time to come back. It's a good place for souvenirs, for Hayes' friends, and for some friends we're visiting. Um, yeah, Green Market Square. Bay Harbor Market, which is a weekend market here in Hout Bay. It's just in that building behind me. It's mostly crafts and clothes and stuff like that. There is some food. There was some live music. There appears to be no shortage of opportunities for old white men to perform here in Cape Town. Yeah, we didn't have any food, but we wandered around and it was a nice, chill kind of market. Anything to add? Yeah.